Ani and Atiina find themselves in a colorful, futuristic arena filled with glowing buttons. Bite appears on a floating screen, smiling. Welcome, adventurers. Today, we unlock a new level of JavaScript. The power of interactivity. Interactivity? You mean, JavaScript can make things happen when we click in the browser? Exactly. So far, we've written JavaScript that runs on its own. But what if we wanted to respond when we press a button? That's where event listeners come in. Think of a button like a magic switch. When you press it, something amazing happens. Like turning on a light? Yes. In JavaScript, we can listen for when something happens, like clicking a button and tell JavaScript what to do next. Before we begin, let's create our new project. If you're new, check out episode 1, Hello Codetopia to learn how to set up files in VS Code and install extensions like Go Live. We'll use it again to preview our project in the browser. Step 1. Create three files. Index.html for the web page. Styles.css to make it look nice. Index.js where the magic happens. First, let's use this code to create a button inside our HTML so we can click it. Don't forget to save your file after making changes. Oh, so do we put the button inside our HTML spotty? Yes. Atiina. And look at this line. We linked our JavaScript file so it can talk to the HTML web page. That means JavaScript can control what happens when we click. Now, let's make our button look magical in the styles.css file with this code. Oh, the button changes color when I hover over it. Yep. CSS helps make it look nice. But JavaScript will make it do something. Now comes the fun part. Let's make the button change the background color when clicked. Step 1, add this code to select the button. This tells JavaScript, hey, find the button with this ID in our HTML. Oh, because we gave it an ID of magic button in our HTML. Step 2, add this code to listen for clicks. This tells JavaScript, when the button is clicked, change the background color. Wait, let me try, Whoa. The background changed. That's the power of event listeners. Now, JavaScript waits for an action before running. Activity time. Now it's your turn. Try these challenges. 1. Change the background to a random color every time you click. 2. Add another button that changes the text on the page. 3. Try making a button that plays a sound when clicked. This is so cool. JavaScript isn't just numbers. It can change what we see. Exactly. This is just the beginning of interactivity. Next time, we'll take it even further. In our next adventure, we'll explore even more about event listeners and user interaction. Get ready to build a mini-game. No way. Can we make our own games with JavaScript? Oh, just wait. Things are about to get really fun. See you in the next quest. Subscribe, like, and share.